Rogue Land Shop Foreman here at Township Chevrolet. Uh, we're just going to shoot a quick video on winter maintenance. Whether you like it or not, folks, winter's coming. So, uh, great time of the year to get your car ready for the winter season. Uh, great time of year to do it. Some of the stuff you can do it on your own. Uh, some of the stuff you're gonna, you might want to get us to do. But we're just going to go over a quick overview of the main things you kind of want to check, uh, and we'll kind of go from there. So, first things first, we'll start underneath the hood. Uh, simple things like checking your air filter, making sure it's not dirty. Obviously, uh, wintertime you're dealing with lots of dirt roads if you're out traveling and touring the island or even going across when you had a chance. Um, and there's dirt roads and you got sandy beaches and stuff and you're going to pick up that dirt and dust going to get in things like your engine air filter and cabin air filter. Uh, things that are pretty easy to check you can do yourself. Um, also, while well, you got the hood open here, you can do things like check your uh, fluids. Uh, antifreeze here is one of the most important, especially going into wintertime. You're looking for uh, antifreeze that's good to a certain strength. So you're looking at like minus 40 degrees roughly is where you want to be. Um, you can buy a, a checker at any of the parts places that you can actually, all it does is you put it in, sucks up the fluid level to a certain line, little needle comes up and tells you exactly where you need to be uh, and where your antifreeze is at. So most bottles have a low and a high mark. You want to be somewhere in between there depending on the temperature of the engine. And just remember if you do have to add some to it, you definitely don't want to open this up when the engine's hot. You kind of want to wait till it cools down because it is pressurized. Another fluid that's easy to check is your brake fluid. Same thing, high and a low mark there. It's a reservoir that's in there. So uh, as your brakes wear out, obviously you're, you're a bit of fluid drop because it's got to take up that extra space that's in the calipers and the brake system. So uh, move along here to the battery. Uh, obviously the battery is going to work real hard uh, through the winter months. Your cold cranking amps are really important. All your batteries usually have a cold cranking amp listing on there. Uh, you do need a, a battery tester to actually test that. That's something we have here. I'll get Phil to kind of uh, show you guys what that looks like and kind of show you where you want to look at that on your battery. So it only takes a few minutes to test. Uh, if you're coming in to get a health check or something like that done here, that's something that we do check, especially this time of year. And while you're doing that, something you can check yourself is you want to just make sure your battery connections are good and clean and all your battery cables are tight. Um, one thing you can check too, uh, if you're not due for an oil change, just check your oil uh, level, make sure it's good. Uh, most cars don't have transmission dipsticks anymore, so that's something that has to be done in the hoist. But uh, if you don't see any leaks on, on, on your driveway or where you park your car, chances are your, your fluid's good. It should be in there, but it's a good time maybe to look at mileage-wise and see where you're at for uh, getting a service done. Maybe your uh, transmission or even your differential or some of your other fluids need to be changed. So uh, the winter's like the hardest time of the year on our vehicles because of the heat cycling. You're, you're going from a dead cold engine at minus 20 and then you're running it up to 200 degrees or, or higher in some cases. And uh, it's really hard on all the fluids and it's hard on all the mechanical parts on the car. So uh, it's really important that everything in your car is kind of tuned up and ready to go. Uh, one other thing obviously that we're gonna be looking into is tires. Uh, whether you run your all seasons or whether you run your winter, it's a great time to either check your all seasons, make sure your tread depth's good. You're gonna have a lot of fluctuations in temperature coming into the winter months. So you wanna make sure that your, uh, all your pressures are good. Uh, maybe look at a rotation if you're leaving your uh, seasonals on make sure if you're dealing with a front-wheel drive vehicle you want those uh, the better tires the thicker tread at the front of the vehicle so a rotation is always good it's always a good time too to kind of look at your tread pattern see what it looks like make sure your tires are wearing good you don't want anything that's cupped or scalloped um, you can check the tread depth you can buy a tread depth checker um, I'll get uh, Phil to shoot some up on the screen there there's actually a wear bar indicator uh, on the tire and when it gets to that point on your uh, tire the tire won't pass safety inspection. So in most cases, I recommend kind of changing those tires out before you get to that wear bar. Uh, that's kind of, that's the real danger point. So it all comes down to how heavy your car is, how wide your tires are. Obviously the wider the tire, the more tread depth you need because you're gonna be riding on top of those services like slush and water, hydroplaning is more of a concern and stuff like that. Um, you can also check to make sure it's a good way for you to check yourself if your alignment in your car is good. If you're getting tire wear on the inside or the outside, or you're getting some you know, weird patterns on the tire like cupping or scalloping, it could be an indication that your uh, car needs an alignment. It's always a good time of year if you're coming in anyway to get any of these health checks done or get any service work done. It only takes a few minutes to put it on the alignment machine and uh, actually check your alignment. And if it's good, fantastic, keep rolling on. But if it's out, obviously it's a great time to get it, uh, get it done. Um, Wiper blades, another thing, uh, you know, 
the weather is always hard on wiper blades going into the winter season you want to keep those windows clean you get a lot of uh, road salt coming off the off the car in front of you a lot of mist and slush and all that stuff and free, freezing rain so you want those wiper blades good so great time to check the wiper blades so those are all things you can kind of check yourself great time too to go around make sure all your bulbs are working in your car you know um, you can't see your brake lights uh, when you're driving so great time for uh, get someone out with you start run your lights for you check high beams and low beams and check your brake lights third brake light make sure all that stuff's kind of working um, and if doing any of that stuff doesn't interest you uh, you can definitely bring it in give us a call here in the service department or you can make an appointment online for a health check and we kind of go we go from uh, bumper to bumper and we do a bunch of checks check your fluid and your brakes um, all that stuff so um, there's a few checks you can do yourself and uh, like I say, if you don't want to, definitely make an appointment with us. Um, best thing to do, tire season, it ends up being one of those things where everyone wants to get them done at the same time. So all of a sudden the first snowfall hits, you're calling around to your garage, you're calling here looking to get, a, get it, uh, us to get that done for you. And we're telling you it's two or three weeks out because we're so booked with appointments. So a great time to call now or go online and book your appointment out. Um, there's, there's nothing wrong with booking it a month or a month and a half out. Uh, jot it down on your calendar, give yourself a reminder on your cell phone, and you know, you got your appointment set, so no matter what the weather's doing, we can uh, definitely get that done for you. So this has been another edition of uh, Tech Talk. Any comments or concerns, drop it down below, and uh, we look forward to seeing you.